Lydia Thorpe rocked up in the chamber today wearing a T-shirt with the slogan on it, Gammon. Now, gammon, G-A-M-M-I-N, is an Aboriginal slang word that basically means fake, phony, etc., which is actually quite apt, it has to be said, when it comes to the way the voice to parliament is being treated, and we know Lydia and I are strange bedfellows when it comes to opposing the voice to parliament. But, you know, Lydia, always being a stickler for the rules, well, when she was told by the President of the Senate, maybe you shouldn't wear a shirt with a slogan on it because it goes against the standing orders, what do you reckon she did? And yeah, I wore my gam and t-shirt. Uh, Senator Thorpe, please resume your seat. I asked you respectfully, in fact, I ordered you to cover your shirt because any slogans that can be read by me are inappropriate. So please don't also then refer to it. Please continue. Thank you, President. Gammon, as we know, is fake pretend, a joke, and that's what I think a powerless voice is. The Constitution is an illegal document. It's illegal. The occupation in this country is illegal. And now the poor little blackfellas are begging for a seat at the table and all we get is to become advisers with no power. I mean, I know Lydia once asked us, what sort of person do you think I am? She continually answers that question for us. But I mean, seriously, the constitution is illegal. This is an illegal <laughs> occupation. I mean, I, gotta, I tell you what, it's one of the most successful illegal operations I've ever seen <laughs> carried out in my life because they've done a bloody good job of it. Well, I've got to say the T-shirt suits her. It's apt that Lydia Thorpe wears a T-shirt <laughs> saying <laughs> fake <laughs> because she's a senator who doesn't recognise the legitimacy of the Commonwealth, who doesn't recognise recognise the Australian government and yet she's acting as a member of the government so it's quite appropriate that she wears that t-shirt and I feel sorry for Senator David Pocock who has to sit behind her in the Senate and try and maintain <laughs> a straight face every time she does something ridiculous. I'm sure it'd be a sweat uh, and I'm a fellow t-shirt wearer so exactly. I'm sure exactly. he didn't even mind. And, and I must note David I, I see in that footage there you weren't wearing a tie. Come on mate just, just send me your address <laughs> I'll send you one you can wear a tie in Parliament it's okay, mate.